From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Ray Kugel reporting. Two rescued in Nepal quake aftermath. Rescue workers pulling two survivors Thursday from the rubble of last weekend's devastating earthquake. Rare moments of joy as the death toll climbed to almost 6,000. Cheers rang out in Nepal's capital of Kathmandu as rescuers pulled a 15-year-old boy from a demolished guest house. Hours later, a hotel kitchen worker, a woman in her 30s, was also pulled to safety. Teams of rescue workers from across the world are still digging through rubble, and aid groups are working to get much-needed supplies to survivors. U.N. Humanitarian Chief Valerie Amos arrived in Nepal Thursday for a three-day visit to assess the overall relief operations. A Pakistani court sentenced 10 men to 25 years each in prison Thursday in connection with the 2012 shooting of Nobel Peace Prize laureate Malala Yousafzai. The men do not include the gunman who actually shot Malala, but they were involved in the attack. The shooters believed to have escaped across the border into Afghanistan. The Taliban targeted Malala for her work promoting girls' education. The Nigerian army says it freed another 150 people who were held captive by the militant group Boko Haram. An army spokesman told VOA that troops rescued about 100 children and 50 women on Wednesday as they fought their way through the Sambisa forest in northeastern Nigeria. The army claims it freed 293 girls and women from the forest on Tuesday. Reporters have yet to see the former captives, and the military has released no photos of them. Initial statements from the Army indicated that none of the 219 missing girls kidnapped in the town of Chibok last year were among any of those freed. This is VOA News. U.S. health officials are shutting down a treatment unit they set up in Liberia at the height of the Ebola crisis last year, as that country prepares to be declared free of the deadly virus. Liberia has gone 32 days without a new Ebola case. If it stays that way until May 9th, The World Health Organization likely will declare the country Ebola-free. NATO Military Chief U.S. General Philip Breedlove says the alliance needs better military intelligence on the ground in eastern Ukraine, where he says Russian forces appear to be fortifying military gains despite a two-month ceasefire. In testimony before the U.S. Senate Armed Services Committee in Washington Thursday, General Breedlove accused Moscow of supplying pro-Russian rebels in Ukraine's east with heavy weapons, training, and mentoring. Police in the eastern U.S. city of Baltimore, Maryland, completed their investigation Thursday into the death of a 25-year-old black man while in police custody, an incident that sparked rioting and looting earlier this week. They turned the report over to prosecutors and now will decide whether to charge six police officers involved in the man's arrest. But there is no timetable for when that decision would be made about the officers, all of whom have been suspended during the probe. Baltimore remained quiet Thursday three days after the riots. Pakistan condemned the recent spike of violence from the spring offensive the Taliban recently started in Afghanistan. The public criticism is another indication Islamabad is distancing itself from the Islamist insurgent group. Ayaz Ghul reports. Islamabad has in recent weeks taken steps that Pakistani officials insist demonstrate their country's commitment to forge closer ties with the Afghan state rather than the Taliban. That latest such move came on Thursday when Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Tasneem Aslam at her weekly news conference condemned Taliban-led violence in Afghanistan. And we would like to see a national reconciliation process in Afghanistan. Aslam reiterated her country's commitment to continue support for peace efforts the Afghan government is making, saying peace in Afghanistan is crucial for maintaining stability in Pakistani border regions. Ayaz Gulf, Islamabad. German police say they have foiled an alleged Islamic extremist terrorist attack and a popular May Day bicycle race planned for Friday. Police in Frankfurt arrested a Turkish German man and his Turkish wife. An employee of a hardware store alerted police after the male suspect put an unusually large amount of chemicals that could be used to make explosives. U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders of the northeastern state of Vermont announced he'll seek the 2016 Democratic presidential nomination. The 73-year-old self-described socialist is a registered independent. He's considered a long shot against former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, the only other declared candidate for the party nomination. I'm Ray Kugel in Washington. That's the latest world news from VOA.